Hi everybody, this is Becca from Cohort 17 at the Guild Hall at SMU and I'm going to be telling you how to make swimmable water. So we built a little pool here in our, our room. To start off we need to add a fluid, fluid surface actor to our pool. So select the view menu tab at the top and go to browser windows and then actor classes. And from the actor list, you want to select fluid and then go to fluid surface actor. Now with this selected, you want to right click inside the empty pool and select add fluid surface actor here. And this will add a, a pretty big checkerboard plane to your scene. So you want to pull up that plane uh, as high as you want your water to go. And then use the scale tool to resize it so that it'll it'll fit inside your pool. So let me adjust this here real quick. Alright. Now we want to check out a couple adjustments you can make to the fluid surface actor double click the fluid surface actor to bring up its properties window. And you click the gray fluid surface actor tab to enroll it. And you can see under the fluid tab we've got a couple options. Just something to keep in mind when you make these things. You'll see deactivation distance. Now this is how far away the player is for the fluid surface actor to deactivate. And you'll see fluid damping. And uh, this is how quickly the waves die away. You really want to try to keep this between 0 and 1. And then there's fluid height scale. And that's how high the waves reach whenever you interact with the water itself. So those are just a couple things I wanted you to keep in mind. So let's rebuild the lighting for our scene so we can test it out. This might take a minute. Close the windows, and then play the scene. Now if you shoot our fluid surface actor, it ripples like water. And depending on you know your fluid height scale and all that other stuff, it'll it'll look different. If you jump inside the water, you just fall through though. So let's make it swimmable. Let's exit and then select the builder brush. You want to drag the builder brush down to make it even with the fluid surface after plane. It's probably easier to do this in the side view. Now uh, select the brush menu tab at the top of the screen, then add volume, and go to UT water volume at the bottom. Because the builder brush encompasses the inside of the pool, the water volume is added to that area. So if you right click the scene and play from here, you can actually jump into the pool and float. Well, you'll float down. And if you jump around, you'll actually you'll swim through the water. Alright, so that's how you make your water swimmable. Unfortunately, the inside doesn't look so good. You probably want to make it look kind of blurry, make it more realistic. So to do that, you're going to right-click the Add Volume icon on the left in the toolbox. And then select Post Process Volume. Now, that'll, this should open up the Settings window the properties window. I select the gray post process volume tab to enroll it, make sure it's enrolled. Go under settings and then check the box to the right of enable DOF. That stands for uh, depth of field. Then go down to DOF focus distance and set this to zero or make sure it's set to zero. 
then go to uh, DOF focus inner radius. Now let's set that to 128. And remember, all these can be played with to get the best effect. And then go to max near and change that to 0 0.1. Now, if you right click in the scene and select play from here, or hit play at the top, and you jump in the pool of water, you actually float down and it gets blurry. Alright. Well, now if you want to add a texture to your water, you're going to open up the content browser and then double click your fluid surface actor. fluid surface active properties when you're looking. Here, hold on real quick. Okay. Alright, you want to, um, in your content browser, this is a lot of going back and forth, you're going to find the material, material you want to use. So you've got this water here. And then go find the uh, under fluid surface actor and properties. You're going to want to add next to fluid material, hit the green arrow to add the material to it. There we go. Alright, now we look back on our scene. And we have our material assigned to the surface. You can get some really cool effects by adding different textures. Okay, well that's how you make swimmable water. Thanks for watching.